The Nebraska football team continued preparations here for Northwestern on Wednesday. Hi, Sean Callahan for HuskerOnline.com. And as offensive coordinator Troy Walter said, the goal, the motive for this week for Nebraska is pretty simple. This is a get back week, you know, get back on track week. And uh, we're playing a good Northwestern team on defense. Um, they beat us last year. Um, so we know uh, last year they started slow and then they went on to win our side of the division. So we understand it's a good opponent. It's a division game. So anytime you win in a division, you know, the tiebreakers sometimes come down to the division. So it's, it's a huge game. And we've looked past Ohio State. We understand we didn't play well and we've looked past that. And uh, we're looking forward to, to uh, Northwestern and, and getting back on track and getting some positive momentum around here. And we're looking at the Huskers. Their offense has obviously had some issues the last few weeks, but Walter said it's more than just one thing. First of all, we talked about that we're in this thing together. You know, we're a team. We can't listen to the outside noise. We can't listen to everybody who says this and that. We got to trust each other and we got to play together. And we got to understand that every everyone's job is important. Right in this offense, if 10 guys are doing their job and one guy's not, it's not going to work. And so, uh, you know, the interceptions, a lot of times the quarterback's going to get blamed for it. Well, he did. No, no, it's all of us. It's the receivers not running the right routes. It's or not getting the right depth or not being detailed. It's the running backs. It's the offensive line giving the quarterback a little extra more extra time, more protection. It's the quarterback making the right read. It's all of us. Coaches calling a better play. It's all of us. So we understand that. We understand we're in this thing together. Um, we understand that the, the importance of practice, the detail of practice, right? Details of making the right decision in practice, details of the receivers, making sure that we're at the right place at the right time, full speed. And uh, they've done a good job this week of, 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 uh, of doing that, giving the quarterback, quarterback confidence that we're gonna be where we're supposed to be, right? Our job as receivers is to give the quarterback an accurate picture. When he hits his third step, fifth step, whatever it is, we're where we're supposed to be. And he trusts that we're going to get there. And right now, you know, there, I don't know if there's that trust. And so we've worked hard this week and feel like the quarterback now understands that we're going to be where we're supposed to be. We did see a new wrinkle from Nebraska's offense a week ago as they went into a more traditional eye formation and it provided a spark. Kind of going back to old Nebraska roots and, and it's something that they have to work on. You know, that's it's not an easy scheme to, to prepare for, so they probably got to take uh, a couple periods out of each day to work on that. And, and, and then if they do that, then they're not working on other things. So uh, it gave us a spark and, and we'll have uh, different elements of that in each game and something that uh, the team's got to prepare for. That was great. You know, we've been working on it. We've been kind of saving it on it before we could launch it in the air. And uh, there was some good stuff on it. We'll build on that, you know, with what we do offensively. Um, you know, we want people to have to work work a lot on what we do, uh, and that stuff's really good stuff. So uh, I think we have the personnel to do it. We'll keep building on it. It uh, wasn't perfect, but it, I think it gives us another tool in our toolbox to help ex you know, execute on, on the field. When this staff looks at Northwestern, obviously their record at 1-3, and three, you have to look past because Northwestern is a team that has been 4-8 and eight over the first month of the season the previous three years, but they finished 21-6 and six in the months of October and November between 2016 and 2018. Well, they're just so, they're strong, they're tough, they're smart, they're physical. Um, they know where they need to be. I mean, Coach Fitzgerald, I mean, he's he's a great guy, a great coach, and, and uh, you know, so he, he gets those guys to play hard. They all rally to the ball. There's just nothing when you watch film, you're like, oh, gosh, there's a, a major weakness in it. Uh, you know, but we have, the biggest thing we got to do is we got to take care of the football, and that will give us a chance to, to be in this game. Those guys are disciplined. They're gap sound. Um, they, they know you, you can expect the guy to be exactly where he should be within the defense, within the scheme of the defense. We have to do a good job as coaches of uh, getting our guys in, uh, in good schematical plays, but then also our kids have to do a good job of, of, uh, of, of being technical um, because that's – you know, they're going to be technique and gap sound. Yeah, their defense is solid, man. They, they get up, get after it up front, very solid, very stout up front. They're not going to let you run between the tackles much. Um, you know, they don't do a whole lot, but they what they do, they do well. And, uh, um, you know, they've had the same st staff for 14, 15 years of continuity, so the guys understand the scheme, and they're not going to beat themselves. They're not going to be out of a gap. They're not going to um, overplay. They recognize formations. They recognize plays. So if a guard pulls, they understand, okay, they've done their scouting report, and they're going to they're gonna fit it. So uh, we've got to be detail-oriented, sound. Um, you know, we can't turn the ball over because they're not going to beat themselves. So we can't 
beat ourselves, um, put ourselves behind the chains, turn the ball over. We've got to play a fundamentally sound football game. Getting more receivers going is going to be a priority for Nebraska, but particularly J.D. Spielman, who a week ago just had one catch against Ohio State. The, within the structure, with the, within the frame of the offense, we're going to try to get them more touches. You know, J.D., to have one catch is, is inexcusable. You know, he, he's a guy that when he gets the ball in his hands, he, he can make plays. So we got to find ways to get him the ball. Uh, Cunavai does a good job. We've got to just, uh, you know, we've got to make sure we spread the ball around within the frame of our offense. We're not going to go outside of it and, and just focus on the receivers and how do we get, you know, we got to be able to run the ball better. And if we run the ball better, then we'll be able to throw the ball better. So it's a combination of, of everything. And finally, Saturday, despite the loss, it was still a very successful recruiting weekend for Nebraska. Well, we just talked to uh, recruits about where we're heading. Um, right now, you know, we're obviously not where we want to be um, as a football team. And we need to recruit guys that's going to fill the void of the needs that we're looking for. Um, you know, thus far, it's been very re receptive. Obviously, uh, being in a situation where we're playing against uh, top five programs yeah. and we're on, on uh, national television uh, really helps it. Even what the outcome it was uh, on Saturday has really, really helped us in, in recruiting because of the exposure we've gotten. issued a public reprimand for violating the Big Ten sportsmanship policy after he struck an Ohio State player in the first quarter near the 918 mark. Davis will be suspended for Saturday's game against Northwestern. With the Huskers here in Lincoln, I'm Sean Callahan of HuskerOnline.com.